Perry Township Schools, where lifelong learning is inspired. Hi there, and welcome to our video. My name is Ms. Four. I serve as the media specialist for Southport High School, and today I'm going to show you teachingbooks.net. You'll want to start off with on the Perry Township Resource Portal, which is the default homepage for any student Chromebooks. But on the right hand side, you'll see that there are a bunch of quick links and you'll want to direct to iLibrary and Inspire. So go ahead and click that. It will open up our database portal. This is an essential place for any student who would like to seek out more information that is credible. I recommend go ahead and bookmark this site just so that you have it for future use. But on this site, if you scroll down to where it says top picks for teachers, you'll also see these little boxes and one of them says teachingbooks.net and you'll wanna go ahead and click that and it will open up a separate tab. If you aren't able to access the resource portal, you can just go ahead and type in teachingbooks.net and you'll get to the same place. I recommend once you get to this website, you'll want to go to the left-hand corner and go ahead and log in with your township information. So this would just be your perryschools.org email so that you're able to create your own customized reading lists as well as other resources. To introduce you to teachingbooks.net right off of the bat, you have a collection of resources related to books and reading activities. These activities range from grades pre-K all the way to 12, so children, teens, and adults will all be able to find something that they could enjoy or utilize in the classroom to help with learning. You can find resources related to all content areas, as well as different cultures and genres to focus on as you do a particular lesson. If you are wanting to find resources related to a particular book or author, let's say for example, Romeo and Juliet, you can go ahead and just go ahead and type in your subject and you'll get some results. Right away, I see the traditional play, as well as some adaptations and the graphic novel related to my subject. If I click on the play, which is the one I want for this example, it's going to open up any resources that teachingbooks.net has related to this title. So it looks right off the bat, we have 17 total resources, some which are curated by teachingbooks.net, such as lesson plans, rubrics, activities related to the book guide and reading. You also have information related to the author, and this would be great, especially if you're doing research. Additional information would be book readings and trailers. So if you wanted to offer audiobook excerpts or book trailers related to whatever unit you're working on, this would also be a great resource. And you have vocabulary lists, which are always helpful when you teach Shakespeare or any book in general. Another feature that you can look at is browse. So if you're looking at something for particular, like a particular book, you can find it. This um, result page will have any popular authors as well as illustrators and book lists that are sort of um, kind of being talked about right now. You have any particular reward or awards and um, series or trilogies. Whoops. That might work for what you need. And it's also an opportunity under browse that you can search collections. So if you're looking for particular grade level, you can search based on grade level. If you're looking at a particular curriculum area, such as math or science or any um, foreign language, you can also look at genre, cultural area. So if you're having a discussion about a particular demographic, you can look in that. You can also find a resource type. So if I'm looking for book trailers or vocabulary lists or book readings or book annotations, these are things that might work. So book annotations is something that we use as Southport. And this is where you can find particular resources related to titles. So if I click this, this is just the excerpt or annotation for the book, The Poet X. But I also can see the resources, awards, and text complexity related to the book. So that might be something that helps my readers. You can find audio excerpts as well as video book readings. And you can also find additional resources related to the book. I go back. One feature that I want to also talk about is Instruct. So right next to where we clicked Browse, if you click Instruct, you'll find some instructional tools and strategies that will help 
you and your lessons. So literacy connections, if you're wanting to focus on something particular that will help your readers in your class, this is something that you could look at. You also have standards connections. So if you're looking at a particular standard, even like math, if we click that, it's going to give you any sort of supports that could help that curriculum content. And you have some options and you also have some ready to use activities. If I click this, I can find a variety of different activities such as writing prompts, which is something that could help, especially during the time of e-learning, related to sort of any activity or grade level that we're wanting to address. Going back to your profile in the upper left-hand corner, you have this option called reading list, and this is something that could help you curate content for your particular needs. Let's say I'm creating a unit for Romeo and Juliet. I'll use that example again. I can create a book list where I type in the book list title, and I can also add based on book lists or based on recommendations. So Son of a Mob was something that came up in a discussion I had with the teacher. Maybe it's Son of the Mob. And then I can just add it to my reading list. And this could be something where if I'm wanting to suggest to students to save, look into books to supplement their learning, these are books that I could recommend. Um, if I'm wanting to talk a particular theme or concept, I could also send this list to them. So I can view list here and it'll give me my list. It can also offer I can also offer some notes based on each of the books. And going back to the idea, if I search for a particular book, if I'm looking for it and I want to find materials for it, I can also add it to my list by clicking the button right under the cover. I can also, if I find a book that I think somebody might like, I can send it or share it with somebody. So let's say I have a teacher I know who is doing a unit on poetry. The Poet X might be something great for them. I can email, text, or send it to them in a different form. So this is teachingbooks.net. Um, thank you for joining our presentation. And this was put together on behalf of Perry Township Secondary Librarians. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks. This resource was brought to you by the School Librarians of Perry Township Schools.